Hello YouTube, it's Philip 20 today and I've got this application that I've been using for quite some time. It's kind of glitchy sometimes, but most of the time it works really well and this application is for the Midnight Classic Solar Charge Controller. Right now it's about 11, uh, 10, 11 a.m. Um, I've switched over the power at 8 o'clock in the morning at that time it was 80 percent capacity on the battery bank so my threshold i try to keep it above 75 a lot of times i accidentally forget because i don't have a large capacity but i want you to see what this application can do now before i went on vacation this right here would count in kilowatts you can see uh, it's right now 1316 kilowatts so I broke 1000 kilowatts before I left okay and then we've got a live chart and we've got made 2.3 kilowatts today we've got a live chart okay so as you can see right here it's moving from right to left. You can see where obviously cloud had probably went over for a short period of time. It's not real cloudy today, I'm assuming. I haven't been outside. But from the output, it looks pretty good. This is uh, your battery amps going into the battery. Okay? And the voltage is the red line, which is at 29.4 volts. I believe let's click on it and find out it's 27.7 volts sorry I apologize I assumed it was already in float I mean uh, absorb but it it's not then we got temperature so this temperature shows me you know everything that's going on right now it shows uh, MPPT bulk uh, the battery temperatures is 76 degrees uh, which is pretty good. I'm real happy with that. The uh, MOSFETs on the circuit board are 133.7 degrees. And you're like, wow, that's really hot. I mean, that would burn you if you used to uh, grab hold of it and touch it. Uh, that's a low temperature. This thing gets up a lot, a lot higher. Um, and the PCB printed circuit board is the basic the circuit board. It's a big circuit board. It's 126 degrees. And the reason why I want to, you know, give awareness to people, whenever you run, you know, a lot of amps through something like this, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna get hot. So, and that's why I'm gonna, that's why I want to switch to 48 volts is so I can get rid of the heat on this charge controller. Now let's go to the daily log chart. Now, you can see each day since I've been back, okay? We've been back since, uh, it was Friday night when we got back. And now it's been seven days. And right now we've, uh, we've, well, this is how many, uh, how much energy we got. We can switch it to, let's say the, the high voltage of the solar panel voltage it says PV volts or we can switch it to how much uh, the float time so here is uh, in hours of float time and then you can see how many hours you know it feels in float and then it will turn off completely if it doesn't need it uh, you can see over here I'm and then battery volts you can see my battery voltage the high of the battery voltage it'll go all the way up to 29.4 stop and right i mean you know even yesterday every every day it goes up to you know the maximum i'm almost, i'm in absorb every day and i use these batteries hard i mean i'm really hard on them 
And when they die, I'm going to have to get some batteries that uh, Ransom's got. PV Volt, uh, you know, we've seen that high temperature. Let's take a look at that. So, we didn't have a high t The temperature goes, uh, I don't know if you can see it, it's about 190 at the top. This is, you know, basically an app that's being made by an individual. So, I mean, nothing's perfect. You can't see the high, but it's 181 on the second number. I think it's 190 is the high. So, move on, and then we can go to high power. Um, now, you can see that we've got 2,583 watts, and um, these two days, I may have, you know, shut it off by accident at the end of the day and that would uh, reset the whole day because it does anytime I turn the charge controller off uh, it doesn't record for that day if I've done it you know anytime I charge it uh, turn it off it doesn't record for the previous amount of time that it was operating so you can see that it does all that and my favorite is the energy because it shows me how much energy that I'm manufacturing and this is today okay now at 7 a.m. I was already making some power and at 8 I was making about 180 watts and then you go up to uh, 9 o'clock which is 1095 watts or so and then it dips down because it goes behind a tree that's uh, in a yard two two yards away from me so I mean, it is what it is. I can't change it. And right now, I'm making about 1,400 watts because it's back out of the tree. Uh, this, it will curve in a big circle if it's clear all day and I continuously use it. But I never hardly see the big, the big arc because I'm always full. So, since I'm always full, it's always, you know, obviously a problem. Uh, you know, I can't get 100% of the energy out of my solar array with my system uh, so I intend on installing a uh, small air conditioner and making a uh, huge modifications to make it really efficient but this is another thing that I really like about this one here let's go over here July 2016 all right it's showing me this month so far all right and you can see the days I was in float and it used to be a lot clearer uh, but you can see the days I was in float the maximum amount of energy I'm not sure what this one is 179 must be the temperature and then 102 I'm not sure what that means neither is it that's the voltage Okay, you can see the voltage on the left side. So, and then you got 29.6 volts, 29.5, 29.6, 29.5. So, if I want to go to the previous month, I scroll down from the top. Sometimes it acts funny. And like I said, this was manufactured, this app was manufactured by an individual. Well, it's not, it's not letting me show you, I'm sorry. So, let's try again. Let me rotate it and see. Let's see. There we go. I have to rotate it up to get it to change. Now we're on June 2016. And it's given a little bit clearer. You see we're in float, float, float 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 this was probably when I accidentally restarted it and in just about every day of the week I'm in float and if I'm not I still reach 29.6 volts you see on uh, the 13th here you know at 17.8 kilowatts I was still not being able to uh, get the full amount of my solar out of it because at 29.6 it starts backing off so you can see you know, here it was obviously either it said 29.6 was the voltage, and you know that was an absorb. 
so that's pretty obvious all right now so it's working kinda so let's go back a couple more months there's July See, it, it acts funny sometimes. Um, here is some messages. I have not found this useful yet. Uh, there's nothing I can say about it. And, you know, it's uh, any open source apps developed by this guy. Uh, I really like this application. It's called Classic Monitor, and the version is 2.4.5. And... I really like it. I mean, I could not say that this is not a good app because it is. I mean, you know, you can uh, actually upload all of your data to the internet itself. And, you know, it's, it's really cool. Um, if I was wanting to monitor this stuff, uh, you know, outside of my home there's a way to do it i'm not exactly sure i, I spent several hours trying to get it, uh, this app to upload to a separate website um i couldn't do it but it's it's not that big of a deal um i, I really appreciate the app itself the way it is um, i use it at my house on wi-fi i've got the uh, classic charge controller hooked up to a range extender so i don't have to straight hook it up to my router and modem I just hook it up to my range extender and have my range extender connect to my router itself um, and it also helped the internet in my house um, so this is what I highly recommend if you're gonna get a classic charge controller get something to connect this that way you can actually monitor how much power you're outputting and if you keep an eye on it you'll find out if there's a problem or not uh, you know, if I'm making 17 and 17 kilowatts in, uh, that means I used a lot of power when I, you know, I got back, um, you know, did laundry or whatnot. But I mean, it's just a great app all around. Uh, I'm glad that I made 1,316 kilowatts already. Um, that is, uh, I believe it's over a megawatt. So. You know, I'm really happy with that. I'm able to see in real time all the things. And what I like about this is it's new. This uh, live chart shows me more stuff, but I don't have a whiz bang uh, char state of charge uh, installed. I've got something else. I mean, I, I, I may set up later one, and uh, that way I can monitor it. But, you know, as of right now, I'm not going to get one. Um, you can see, you know, within, you know, 30 minutes, it shows you a 30-minute peak. So it looks like maybe, you know, we hit a cloud or something. Or, you know, it, it's just the way it works. But I wanted to say this is my favorite application on my whole solar array and my favorite part is you know sitting back on my couch looking at my solar equipment seeing hey this thing is doing this this is doing that I'd like to have state of charge on it but I think it's better to have it in the kitchen because when you're cooking you're not looking at your phone so I'd rather have my state of charge displaying in my kitchen than having it on my phone because I can forget you know people you know when you're eating dinner you're cooking off of solar and stuff like that then you definitely want to keep an eye on it if you don't keep an eye on it you're going to kill it and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to go with something I could put a display in the kitchen uh, if you haven't seen my display uh, I'll make a fresh video on it for you um, all you got to do is ask if you uh, all you got to do is uh, write in the comments I want to see your state of charge display in your kitchen and I'll make a video on it um, it's real simple and I could not stress enough to anybody that's doing charging system for batteries is to have a way to monitor those batteries but coming up I want to do an air conditioning system that runs off of solar and cools off the upstairs to my house I'm thinking about getting a system and I'm very very confident 
that uh, I'm going to be able to cool my house off of the extra power that doesn't get used you know most of the time because daily I'm in float every day and never get to utilize the maximum amount of power you know because it get when it gets really hot with air conditioning and when you need air conditioning is when the sun's hitting your your roof when it's really really hot so this is just what I wanted you know to express you know and this application has you know made me more aware on everything that I'm doing with my solar right now we're running at 59.4 amps we're not even close to uh, you know the maximum charge during the day which is about one o'clock here and at 115 or so one one o'clock 115 is when it really starts kicking in um, and I, I want you guys to know that uh, it's really fun to use this application with your solar so if you intend on doing solar I would get something that I could use on a regular basis that I could benefit with so you know it, it's something that you always want to be careful with uh, your decisions is you know real important this charge controller is I think it's made a huge difference on what I'm gonna do with my solar I mean I intend on expanding my solar but I can't expand the system the way it is either I'm gonna to have to get a much much larger battery bank or I'm gonna to have to get a different kind of battery bank and I don't want to spend a lot more money on these batteries because they're uh, uh, you know I'm not saying they're bad batteries they're really really good batteries but in order for me to use 100% of the power that I generate a day I want to be able to withdraw 100% of the power that I use a day and I'm gonna get uh, some Edison batteries if I can afford it you know coming up but I mean with the battery bank that I've got right now it just uh, won't do it it's not strong enough because it's just never gonna happen uh, this is Philip with solar power electricity and electronics and I will holler at y'all later